Hi guys, Bran here and welcome to another commentary video. Today is more of an update video on something that happened last week that uh, kind of got away from me because obviously last week was the release of Alien Romulus. So I made a lot of videos about that that I already planned to make and wanted to make because, well, as you guys have found out being around this channel for more than two seconds, I love Alien a lot. Alien franchise is my favorite uh, movie franchise. I love it a lot. So obviously another entry, much less a very, very good one, was something I was very excited about to make uh, content of. So I was gonna do that regardless <laughs> but uh last week before uh that happened there was a bit of a situation in the dead by daylight community of someone supposedly being banned for body blocking and i made a video about that but there's been significant updates to that since then which i tried to put in the pin comment the moment i found out because there was an update to it i think it was like two days after i made that video uh, I try to put a pinned comment there, but a lot of people are still commenting on that video like, oh, that's not what happened. Oh, that's not what happened. And kind of just like blowing past the pinned comment. Uh, also, in addition to this, Scott made a video about this after I did, but also posted a follow up video, whereas I did not. So I feel like most people that were following the situation watched Scott's update video and probably got all up to date. But I guess that is uh, not the case. So Here's my dedicated video talking about updating you on that situation because it's not as it originally appeared. So if you need a little bit of catching up, if you're not even aware of what I'm talking about and you don't want to go back and watch the other video, a very prominent spirit streamer uh, known as Look at My Feet, David, Carol, they go by 59 million names, uh, but those are the three they usually go by. We will just be using Carol shorthandedly the best we can in order to make this an easy uh, process. <laughs> so Carol had been in a situation when they were in a 26 minute match total, which was really, really, uh, grading to play through because they had killed two survivors by two gens and at that point the other two survivors decided that they were going to start refusing to do the objective they were not going to touch gens for a really really long period of time basically holding carol hostage because unlike you know the killer who can just, you know, if they go FK in the corner, the survivors can still do the gens and just escape and end the game whenever they want. If the survivors opt to stop doing the objective and are really good at hiding, there's kind of nothing you can do about it. So uh, Carol was essentially being held hostage by the survivors. As a result, the first time that they caught somebody, they decided to get them a taste of their own medicine, body block them in a corner, to which, you know, the David that was the other survivor realized that was happening and actually did start doing the gens. So the plan did work. Uh, and broke the cycle of holding the game hostage, thankfully. But initially, initially they were banned uh, for only two weeks, I believe was the, the full length, because of the body blocking incident. And this eventually got upgraded to a full perma ban. Now, the problem is that Carol went to Twitter and claimed that behavior had perma banned them for for the body blocking situation, which was what their initial ban was for. Um, and then claimed that just because they gloated about it on Twitter, Behavior took issue with that and upgraded it to a perma ban and kind of made this kind of like very like shorthanded social media movement <laughs> to try and, you know, get Behavior's attention to get them unbanned, saying how unfair it was and how dumb it was. And it, you know, it riled up a lot of us and, you know, me included, Scott included, that ended up talking about how it was really, really unfair that they even got, a, a, you know, any sort of punishment for, you know, kind of defending themselves, retaliating against somebody holding them hostage. But also the fact that them kind of saying uh, it's worth it, it was totally worth it on the uh, DVD Twitter. Behavior took issue with that and upgraded to a perma ban. And it was kind of something that went through the community for um, kind of swept through the entire community of people rallying for uh, against this really bad ban decision. However, the plot twist that you didn't see coming is that Carol was hiding something seemingly that they had actually cheated. They did cheat in a very, um, not very uh, intense way. <laughs> they had just uh, used a save injector to add more add-ons to their account. So they're not subtle cheating. They weren't like hard hacking, but they did in fact, you know, do something that most of us are not capable of doing, which is hacking into their game and adding add-ons. So when behavior, you know, all the hullabaloo started to, you know, kick up about this, I, I'm assuming behavior caught wind, looked at it and went, oh, hey, they actually, you know, modified their save. They actually went in and hacked in add-ons that they did not earn themselves and then upgraded it to a perma ban. Now, I do want to say, and this is not the take I've been seeing most people go with, because most people are kind of just like, you know, still going with the flow of like they didn't deserve the ban. Uh, I will say to their credit devil's advocate here that in terms of like i said in terms of how hacking goes like kinds of hacking i feel like uh injecting some add-ons is probably like the least harmful thing you can do <laughs> as opposed to actually like subtle cheating to win or hard hacking to ruin somebody's game or hold somebody hostage like that you know it's like the lowest tier of bad <laughs> you know but uh it still 
very very frustrating for people uh not who even aren't pc people on console that have no ability to do this at all and pc players who want to not cheat and get ahead in the game who have to grind their add-ons normally um they tried to kind of like dress it up as like oh well the grind is terrible and this is an outdated thing anyway but realistically the, the, the ban is earned, right? It, it, it's cut and dry. There's not really anything to really argue there. You you hacked the game. You may have hacked the game in a, a fairly subtle way, but you hacked the game. <laughs> so if you hacked the game, you get permaban. That, that's just how it goes. I don't think I see a universe where a video game company um, actually comes out and says, oh, okay, you guys can just save inject our game. Because that sounds like you're just opening Pandora's box to have people just hack your game. And then it becomes almost even more of a controversy of like behavior letting through some hacks, but not other hacks. And it just like, it gets really out of hand really quickly. And it, I, the people that are expecting behavior to just up in like a, well, just save injecting dad add-ons is like, that's fine, that's okay. I think that's just like really, that's not realistic at all like no official game company is going to be like yeah please cheat in our game to get an advantage even if it's a super tiny one that doesn't matter a lot no they got to take a hard stance on that and say no cheating at all please <laughs> and i think the people that are doing that it, it's kind of unreasonable i i don't see that that point of view but i know that's kind of like the um for some reason, that is the weird take. Like the like most people, like I said, are continuing with the free Carol thing. Um, but I, for me, it's gotten dry. You you cheated, you got caught, you got banned. <laughs> so like to me, it's like that's it. End of story. I'm also kind of like uh, a little frustrated, a little upset because I if if they were in fact banned for body blocking, like perma ban for body blocking, that'd be a pretty big issue. And I feel like uh, it, you know when we are under the assumption that's what's happening, a lot of us came up to bat for you. A lot of people came up to bat for you. A lot of people came out to try and speak out against that and try to help you. And I, I don't know how, how or why you sat on this, this thing in the background that was clearly the reason why you would get banned. <laughs> like like the, the de very much all the Twitter posts that came out during that era were, oh, um, I did they perma ban me. It had to be the body block. It couldn't possibly be anything else. That's crazy. And I feel like you very much should have maybe mentioned or probably went, hmm, yeah, I have cheated in this game before, even if it was in a very minor way. Yeah, that, that probably is why. And then it feels like you kind of just like kept that swept under the rug and just kind of let people make this into a big thing um instead of just like bringing that up so the fact that like all these people me included uh went up to bat for you and you, you just kind of like omitted that uh i don't like that i don't think that's pretty cool i think it's kind of uh, kind of ick kind of a little ick so I, I i think it's really really unfortunate i wish that um we would because like the the point that you have the point that you have still stands that like no, you shouldn't have been punished for them taking you hostage and you just giving them a taste of their own medicine. Like, you have a right to retaliate, and the fact that they punished you and seemingly not the other survivors is very silly. That's dumb. Uh, and overall, behavior should probably implement some sort of mechanic that if survivors do decide to do that, where they are going to hold the mass hostage, that there is some sort of... Like, you know, you get crows or something if you don't touch an objective for a certain period of time. So sort of mechanic that outs people that just hold the game hostage like that. Your point is still there and your point is still great. But like, it's really muddy now because you were slightly dishonest. So I, I it's, it's just unfortunate. It's really, really unfortunate. But yeah, that is the actual update to that situation. I'm sorry that uh, I relegated it specifically to a pin comment and didn't make a video right away. Like I said, I was mostly focused on the Alien Romulus stuff, which came out literally right after that. <laughs> so that was like my main directive was Alien Romulus, Alien Romulus. But here's the update to that. I'm sure if you've already seen it, that this would be kind of redundant. But this is for the people that only watched my other video and haven't had an update on that situation since. So yeah, but I do upload daily. So we'll see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.